right here from the Maryville College Scots after the opening round game against Barry College. Coach, uh, fantastic season. You're here against a familiar opponent again. Final score 31 0. Uh, what did you see out of the game? Well, um, first of all, congratulations to, to Barry and Coach K. Um, he does a great job. He's got a great program. Um, you know, he, he does it right. And uh, the way that they have treated us while we've been here uh, has been uh, the best I've ever been around. So, congratulations to them. Uh, and in the next round, good luck to them. Uh, I think that, you know, we came out with a plan and we executed a little bit of what we wanted to early. Uh, penalties really hurt us. Uh, last night when we talked in our meeting, the number one thing I wrote on the board that could get us is penalties. And uh, we had a lot, even from the first play. So, uh, the one thing you don't want to do is beat yourself. And we had a little bit of that. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, we don't get the opportunity to go back and fix it. So, and it's, uh, it's rough for these two guys being seniors. I, I hate it for them. But we wouldn't be here without them. And I don't want them to forget that part. When you, uh, when you get the news that you're coming down here against a team that you guys are probably just about as familiar with as anybody, <clears throat> uh, what was part of the game plan coming into today? From which part? Just in terms of facing a familiar opponent, um, and then obviously looking back at the first game of the year. Um, you know, offensively, what were you, what were you trying to do against Barry, who has a good defense, and then defensively, how were you playing on Scott? Well, a lot of that stuff is in-house. Yeah. Um, I think you can take a look at the, the quickie stats and see that you know, we only had 116 yards total offense. Uh, what they do schematically uh, puts us in a bind. And I can assure you that we had figured it out. It doesn't look like it by this. Um, but, you know, we've got to, if we're going to get to this level and take the program to this level, all right, we've got to become more efficient uh, within our schedule uh, in, pre in preparation. And the weather hurt us this week. You know, we didn't have anywhere to go. We had a, we couldn't even go to a gym, so uh, we went out how many times in the wet rain, and really couldn't. We were so we were falling. Um, however, we got to grow up, and when you get that, when you get this opportunity, you got to make it mental, and uh, and that's the biggest thing from an offense. Defensively, I think they played fine. They just hit some big plays. They screened us. They got two big screens. And uh, those two screens really got us. But other than that, I thought they played extremely well. And I was very proud of our secondary. Because we gave up a lot of passing yards. All right. And I don't think we gave up a vertical ball. And uh, I'm very proud of how they improved. I love you offensively. Uh, 43 yards out of you. Uh, it seemed like at times the offense was, was clicking, able to move the ball, uh, 10 first downs out of you. Uh, what were you seeing offensively today? Um, it was a lot of little holes. I had to get skinny. Um, it was definitely some tough nose running. I know that from last time it was going to be. So um, coach preached physical all week. So I was definitely trying to play physical and get in where I could fit in. But um, it was just some tight holes, man. You know, they uh, they defense is basically made to stop our offense. So, you know, playing them these uh, five times, I think I'm going to play them five times now. So, uh, you know, after a while it gets kind of routine, you know. So, but they came with it today, you know, but we going to uh, – we're going to do what we can because I'm sure we play them again next year. So, uh, Trent, on the defensive side of the ball, one of the, the bright spots for you guys, obviously, was on third down. Mm -hmm. uh, they want to get off the field quite a bit. So uh, talk a little bit about how you guys are able to do that. <laughs> um, and then, like you said, kind of bottom them up uh, a lot of the game and then a couple big plays here and there. But what are your thoughts on the defensive side of the ball? Um, so we know that you know we can get off the field on third down, and that kind of gives us um, our offense a little bit of a motivation to go out there if we can stop them. Um, Throughout the year, I think we've done good on third down, um, just biting down, being hard nosed, not letting them get a first down. Because, um, you know, if we can stop them, then our offenses have got that field position and so on and so forth. Um, but other than that, we knew coming in that Barry's probably the most physical and athletic offensive line that we'd face. Um, so we knew that it'd be a hard fought game. Well, we'll have to build, all right, because uh, the house that I want to live in here is in the foundation's just been laid. Um, and so we've got to really, we cannot become comfortable, all right? We've got to be able to put this behind us. You know, we were an outright champion. We did have a piece of history. Um, 
but we aren't where we need to be. We're not where I expect to be or want to be. And I know these guys are dumb, but they don't want us there either. So I hope that we are not content. And if we get content, I can make sure that I will make them uncomfortable because we have a lot, a lot of good kids. We're so close, man. Um, and I want to make sure that they don't let it slip and they don't get confused on why they got here. Uh, the investment they made and, and the belief and the trust, we were able to create this vision. And when we had it, uh, it wasn't going to be broken by anyone. And so I'm proud of these guys for that and our senior class and our captains. But we got to stay humble. And we got to know you're going to get everybody's best shot now. Everybody wants to knock off the champion. And so, and Barry does the same thing. And week after week, that's hard. It's hard. So uh, it's an exciting moment for us. And I'm very blessed and thankful that we got to experience this. And, um, uh, I plan on being back here again. Well, I'll be honest with you, that call is something that they've done to us for a while. Um, and I explained it to them before the game. And uh, if you don't have your eyes fixed just right, you'll miss it. Because they hold us on the D-line. When we run stretch, they grab our shoulder pads and hold us. And we're trying to run stretch, and he, the shade's pulling our center, and the guard's cutting him. So it is high low. But it's also defensive holding. Um, but kudos to them for figuring it out, because that thing's going to get called. <laughs> it's just not going to get called a lot. Can't see it very well. Uh, and Nate does a great job, man. I know Nate. Nate and I are real close. And uh, so. It's part of it. You know, we, we've got to understand how important it is in practicing crisp. We don't do that. I told this team this the whole time, I said, as long as you guys want to play, all right, and practice the way we've been practicing and show up to meetings nonstop and to work out, we can go as far as we want. But when you get tired of the cold and the practice and all this, and you don't, and you don't come out every day intentionally to do it the way we've been doing it, because of the monotony we it is, it's going to be a struggle. And we had a little bit of that this week. It was hard to motivate sometimes, from the conditions, from the physicality. Um, it showed. Um, right now, it's a bittersweet moment, of course, but man, uh, to finish the way we did with this team and my teammates and all these coaches and people that supported us all throughout this year, man, it's, it's unbelievable and I'm thankful and um, I'm blessed to be around these guys. You know, I've came came from a far place and I feel like I'm home now. So it's unbelievable, man. And um, I just pray for the best next year for my team and I know they're going to they're gonna bring it. So I think this, this conference championship, you know, us running it out right means the most like me and probably everybody else here that is seniors because we are the first to win it outright. Um, 16, you know, it was a tie for conference. Um, and then last year, you know, we fell off a little bit. And I feel like everybody kind of counted us out. And this year just shows that, hey, we're not, you know, we haven't disappeared. We're still here and we're still going to fight to the last day. Yeah. Um you know what these two guys said, and especially at the end there. We did fall off a little bit last year. And I promised myself that uh, how I would judge this year, all right, would not be off wins and losses. All right, it would not be off of a conference championship. It would be, do we come together and we all step in one line to a vision? Do they buy into what we're selling? Uh, and that was hard early. But to these guys here and the rest of them, man, all right, we pushed to that. And I'm so blessed that that happened because I told them out there, when you get in the real world, man, you know, you got to fight for what you believe in and what's right. And if you do that, the next step will reveal itself. And here we said, so thank you all. Um, it's a valuable lesson to learn in life. Fred, what do you 
Thank you, sir. Thank you.